Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we'll be taking a look at this cheap heart rate monitoring sensor. So I saw a lot of videos on internet on these and a lot of people are struggling with this. So I thought let's try these and try to figure out if they work properly or not. So guys, without wasting any more further time, let's do this. Hi everyone, if you are watching this video, which means either your heart rate sensor is not working or you are thinking about buying one. And I am here to tell you about these. So in order to measure the heart rate, the cheapest option is to buy these unbranded sensors from internet or get it from some store. The other thing you need along with it is an Arduino and few jumpers. So I attach the link in description if you are interested to buy. But don't decide it before watching the full video. Now what I did next is that I connected it to Arduino according to the zone schematics. Which is pretty easy. And after connections I downloaded the appropriate library for it to get it working. And then I opened getting BPM to monitor sketch and uploaded it to my board. That's easy, right? And after that, I put my finger on the sensor to get my pulse data. And I opened the serial monitor and voila! We are getting our heart rate on serial monitor. It was that easy. Now you would ask if it is working perfectly for me. Then why people are struggling? Why people are having issues? And why I am making this video. So sadly here comes a point which is gonna disappoint you all. If you see closely my heart rate in serial monitor, you will see that my heart rate went from 28 to 238 in just one minute. The normal heart rate for a regular person should be around 60 to 100. So to understand this, I use my fitness band to validate the data. And then after trying for so many times in my fitness band, I was able to see that every time my pulse is near about 80 or 90 or something like that. And my fitness band measures pulse rate quite accurately. So you would be asking why our DIY heart rate monitor setup is not working. So there are two main reasons for that. The very first is that either the sensor might be fake or defective or the circuitry might not be right, which was not the case with me. And it brings us to the second and most important reason that this sensor somewhat works, but it doesn't do what they claim. So what it does exactly, right? So before I tell you that, let me tell you a little bit about the heart rate sensor and how it works. So the heart rate sensor or pulse rate sensor works on the principle of photoplanthismography. It measures change in value of blood through any organ in our body, which causes a change in the light intensity passing through these organs. So the flow of blood volume is decided by heart pulses. And since light is absorbed by the blood, the signal pulses are equivalent to heartbeat pulses. So the light emitted from the sensor is reflected back by the organs and that will be read by the pulse monitoring devices. And that's how pulse can be calculated. But in order to measure the pulse rate, the sample of these light reflections are stored in the device for few seconds or a minute to analyze the data and calculate the pulse rate. That's the reason when we use our fitness bands to measure pulse rate, it takes some time to get sample data and analyze it. Then it gives us our pulse rate. But sadly, our Arduino Uno does not have that kind of memory or processor so that it can store the data of the samples and analyze the sample data and provide us accurate pulse. So the solution could be either make a PC application or mobile application 
and transmit sample data to the mobile or PC and the application should be capable enough to capture the samples and give us the accurate pulse rate. But that would be pointless because if we are using a PC or smartphone for analyzing and storing the samples then there will be no use of Arduino because PC and mobile could do this on their own. They don't need an Arduino for that. And the other solution could be to use a board like Raspberry Pi to store and analyze samples and get accurate pulse rates. But all these options are not worth it due to complexity and the cost. So the other options are also there like Max 30100 or Max 30102 etc. But they are also not the best. But that's a topic for another video. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so that when I make video on this topic again or any other project you can check it out. So guys that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you do hit like give me a share and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video of mine. Till then keep exploring.